in the book of Jonah, we read this right at the end of chapter 2 of the book of Jonah. It says, salvation is of the Lord. In Ephesians, Paul explains it this way. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God and not of works, lest anyone should boast. Eve's idea that she had something, anything to do with her salvation is completely misguided. The Lord is the one who works out our salvation. And he did it, and he continues to do it in his own timing. Most of us have people that aren't saved, and we pray for them every day, and we think, why is the Lord delaying? It's because it is up to him when somebody comes to him. There will be no boasting when we stand before God and we proclaim what he alone has done for us. As Mary wisely said when she was told that she would be the Savior of the world, here's her words, Behold, the maidservant of the Lord, let it be to me according to your word. There was no boasting, there was no claim of participation in the effort, and in her song of praise a few verses later, she places all of the credit on God alone. She says, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God, my Savior. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant. For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed. For he who is mighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. Mary is mentioned only a couple more times in the entire Bible. The last time we see her is in Acts chapter 1, and she is never mentioned again. And in all of the times that she's mentioned, attention is never drawn to her. She's just a, a participant in the unfolding drama of the Lord's work of our salvation. Going back.